Casi 300.000 rusos podrán votar en las próximas elecciones europeas en Estonia. Los rusos que viven en el país suelen votar a candidatos de habla rusa y una de las más populares este año es la candidata Jana Tum. To uh, make children, Russian-speaking children in Estonia, uh, to be somehow uh, linked to what Putin is doing. Los partidarios de Jan Atum son pro-europeos y se distancian de las medidas del presidente ruso Vladimir Putin. Los jóvenes estonios provenientes de familias rusas quieren tender puentes entre los diferentes grupos étnicos del país. The candidate that I'm going to vote for represents and understands also Russian-speaking uh, minority struggles, challenges and opportunities and doesn't just disregard it as something that has to be integrated somewhere, but actually sees this as a full picture that actually we integrate on both ways. Pero también hay voces prorrusas en el país, como Ivo Peterson, un candidato a las elecciones europeas que ahora mismo está en prisión preventiva party or, or movement uh, which is very, very friendly to Putin. And the irony is that the um, main candidate, or actually I, I think it's, he's only, the only candidate for this party, is uh, waiting for the court uh, in, in uh, pre-trial detention right now, uh, because uh, there is a charge against him uh, for cooperating with Russian uh, special services. However, not every Russian will be able to vote in the upcoming EU elections. Part of the Russian diaspora in Estonia includes the ones who, despite the years spent in the country, do not have Estonian citizenship. Magdalena Hadovnik from the Estonian-Russian border in Narva for Euronews.